Ooh. Welcome, seriously welcome to a John Leg Fragrance Review. You are so, so welcome to this channel. If you've been here before, you know I'm open, I'm honest, I'm truthful about these fragrances. This is a hobby. I don't get paid for this. This is fun, me sharing a hobby with you. So I really appreciate you coming to this channel. Let's do a John Leg Fragrance Review. You know what, over 12 months ago, just over 12 months, I came across a company called Copycat UK. And I was absolutely blown away with this bad boy. Their version of Baccarat 540, which they called just 540. Oh, you know what? In terms of a copy, it's pretty much a spit. In terms of the performance, it's solid. You get, you know, you get five, six hours. In fact, since then, I've had loads of copycats. I joined on their website. You can subscribe and you get like a 15% discount off every time. And you can, you can adjust the frequency of how often you get them. And I've had loads. I've probably got sort of 10, 15 um, of the different copycats. They're all inspired by mostly sort of Tom Ford's or Creed's or the Baccarat 540 sort of ones. And you know what? They all have an amazing smell. They're all pretty much between 90, 95% copies of their ones that they're sort of copying. And they all, on all of them, I get around about five or six hours of a, like a scent bubble round. You've constantly been able to smell it. Okay. Now, I had an email from Copycat about a month ago advising me that they had launched their original. The first one, it's not a copy, it's not inspired by, it's their own creation. And you know what, Josh, at the top of Copycat, I really appreciate the fact that you're doing this. Because I said 12 months ago, you've got the infrastructure, you've got the knowledge, you've got the ingredients, do it. And he's done it. And as I quickly scanned down this email, I saw the sort of notes. It was amber, it was ginger, it was iris. I thought, you know what, I love all of those ingredients. So I didn't pay too much attention to this email. I just went on and I changed my subscription. So the next time I got a bottle, it was going to be this new copycat original. It's actually called Immense. I was hyped, I was excited, and here we go go it's come through love the way copycat do it no fancy packaging you know i've had some fragrances and they're coming a velvet lined box and it's got ribbons and it's got fancy bit i'm thinking no 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 do what copycat does well done josh it's a little sort of velvety bag drawstrings bag and it's a very plain looking bottle there she is immense by copycat Let's see if they've kept to what I said over 12 months ago, that they've put their effort and their energy into the juice inside instead of all the fancy packaging. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Immediately as you spray it, this thing is packed full with energy. That comes from the ginger. And basically, when you first smell it, you get like a nice, rich blast of very energetic, sort of amber, which is that resinousy, nicey, sweet note. And then there's the ginger. And those two absolutely go wild. And for a long time, when I first sprayed it, I thought, I thought I read about some iris note. And then I thought, no, no, Leggy, you must have just read the iris note in your brain. Didn't get the iris note at all. And you know what? The iris note is that not there at all at the start. There's this kind of, I'm going to say, very Tom Fordish, if you like, opening, which is kind of like a weird combination of amber and ginger. I'm going to say it's quite unique. I've never smelt anything with this particular combination of amber and ginger. And here's the thing, I've obviously sprayed it for a lot of people. I've worn it for a couple of weeks solid, so I can tell you all about the performance and the reactions that you're going to get from it. I've sprayed it for about 25, 30 people. And I will say that the majority of them, they just go for the opening. They go, well, I don't know what to think about that one, Leggy. They don't say they don't like it and they don't say they're in love with it. They just go a little bit puzzled because it is a kind of slightly weird off the beaten track sort of opening. I love it because it's kind of like a niche kind of opening. It's kind of something a little bit different. It's like a, Tom Ford would come up with this idea. That's the kind of opening. And I will warn you, first time I wore it, I thought, 
No iris. Oh, I must have just imagined the iris note. The weird, weird thing is, 20 to 30 minutes after wearing this fragrance, the iris note comes. And once the iris note, there's a tiny slight lap over between the ginger, the amber and the iris. And then realistically, from then on inwards, it's just the iris note. Now, you'll have to forgive my weird and wacky imagination and sense of humour, but it's a little bit like when you spray this, all the ingredients are bundled out, okay, and the ginger, obviously, the ginger's got energy, and the amber's there, and they're like, whoa, yes, we're doing it, we're doing it, copycats, events, let's go for it, and they well, wait a minute, where's our, oh, Iris, come on, so it's almost like the Irish note has come out, but it's like a little bit, what's going on, lads? What's, what, what, what are we doing? And they're saying, come on, we, it's this copycat's new fragrance. Come on, son, get to your feet. And the Irish note's like, whoa, 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 this is a bit early for this one. I'm not, I'm not, it's a bit early. And you know what? After 20 minutes of the ginger and the amber sort of dancing around and saying to the Irish, come, get, get to your feet, man, we're on, we're on. The iris eventually sort of comes to his feet and he's all a little bit bleary eyed and he goes, what do you want to do, lads? And they say, well, come on, do your thing, do what an iris note does. And it's almost like he sort of, he sort of goes, okay then, lads, I'll do the iris note. And he stands there and he's like doing the iris note and it's real. Okay, this is not a criticism, but after about half an hour, the ginger and the amber sort of take a very much of a back seat. And from half an hour till the end of the fragrance, which is several hours down the line, it's realistically just a very nice, polite iris note. OK, it doesn't do much. The iris doesn't really jump around. It doesn't dance around. It doesn't sort of shout and scream. It's just a very nice, polite, pleasant iris note. OK, now I'm just starting to get a tiny little bit of iris note and it's been on my skin for a couple of minutes. But trust me, for the first time I wore it, I thought, where's, where's the iris? I love iris note. OK, so that's the way I see this fragrance. It's full of energy. It's full of vibrance. And then that sort of gives way to a beautiful iris note it's almost almost a standalone iris note that just stands there and does what iris does best it's sort of slightly formal but it's got that casual element to it what age range could wear this you know what a teenager get this for your teenager buy it as a teenager because this thing is full of youthful energy but it also changes to be quite a mature fragrance. And I think as a teenager wearing this, you would get that respect because it's still got its youthfulness, but it's also got its mature note. The, to me, iris note, quite a mature note. It's quite a sort of a formal note as opposed to the ginger and the amber, which are da literally dancing around at the start. Could an old guy wear this? You know what? Yes, because I think he would appreciate the fact that every time he wore it, that initial sort of very, very excitable notes of the ginger and the amber, they do settle down to that very sort of rigid, almost standalone iris note. OK, now I've got the 30 mil because I like to buy lots of them. And that was just over £20 delivered. I believe the 50 mil and 100 mil, the next size is up. I think the 100 mil is around about 50 pounds. So I would say this is, as usual with copycat, 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 this is good value for money. Performance, okay, so for the first half hour, you are literally blasted with this energetic blast of ginger and amber. After that half an hour, the iris note takes over. And it's almost like he's, you know, once he's come to his feet and he's realised that he's on stage sort of thing, he says to the, the ginger, and, ginger and the amber, like, lads, lads, I've got it from here. And I say, he just sort of stands there and does what iris note does. And you will get maybe three, four hours of constantly being able to smell this on you. Don't expect to smell the ginger and the amber all the way through, because once the iris has taken over, pretty much that's what you get. Now, I would say that's like a niche fragrance because it's gone through phases. And I actually think, Josh, you've done mighty well with this. So let's talk about it again. 
and show you again rather immense by copycat i would say get this into your collection because it will pretty much do all year round i don't think there's a season that you wouldn't want to wear this because it's got energy and then it's got that formalness as it develops so i actually really think this one is a good one one to watch one to buy and one to keep in your collection so Thank you for coming to this John Nick fragrance review. Sorry, the sun's on my face. It looks like I'm only half a guy. I'm a real guy. Okay, and I would like you to stay safe, make good choices, stay safe, and spray fragrance every single day. See you next time. Goodbye.